Hi, I'm Amy from Amy's Beach Fitness. Today's workout is going to be 30 minutes in length, and it's gonna be very, 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 very slow. Isometric bar legs. So everything is gonna be, I do slow, we always usually do slow, but it's gonna be even slower today with high reps. Remember to stretch out a little bit before and after all of my videos and get in your present space. This is about you, your body, your mind, your heart, and just, I'm gonna really instruct and just please follow my pace, okay? All right, so if you have a stool, a bar, some type of something sturdy in your house, that's what you're gonna need for today. Everything is going to be actually standing up for legs. All right, so you're gonna start with very, very wide legs. And actually, we're gonna start with going down. And I want you to go down as deep as you possibly can. I'm actually gonna take my left fingers and touch them down onto my mat. So you're in releve, releve is on point. You're gonna get in your tuck. And tuck means, like I always say, act like there's a weight on your tailbone pulling it down. So automatically your hips pop forward, but you're not arching your spine. Okay, and my arm that's out, I'm gonna put resistance into it so it's tight. All right, here we go, slow. Do your best to focus and do your best to also challenge yourself. I'm not dropping my chest and then I'm coming up very slow. We're gonna do five of these. When you come up, keep the bend, the knees slightly bent, that's one. Focus on your breath, two. Three. Four, one more after this. Stay in releve after this last one, if you're able to, and then we're gonna stay up high. We're gonna start isolating. Okay, here we go. So resistance in the left arm. Up, hold, follow my pace for 20. So it's one, pausing on the up. Two, three, inner thighs, stay in tuck, glutes, Quads, four, five, six, really pausing on the up, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm barely holding on to my stool here, eleven, just a guide, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, slow, 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 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you're in drop down about three inches. You're gonna do the same thing for 20. So it's one, stay in tuck. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, little, little, little movement, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, starting to shake. If you're shaking, it's normal. All right, that's 20. Now we're gonna go down about two inches and we're gonna hold for 20 seconds. You're not gonna do pulses anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but my right inner thigh quad was totally shaking. All right, give yourself a nice little stretch here, side to side. So that was a lot of inner thigh, glutes, and I actually felt it um, in my hamstrings a little bit when I was staying in my tuck. 
So now we're going to focus on quads, okay? And if some of these moves that you can, you can do and you maybe don't have to hold on to something, that's fine. Challenge yourself. So now you're going to get back in releve. And once again, you can always do this in, um, on flat feet too. Hip width apart with your feet. You're actually going to get down in your tuck. I'm actually going to have my left arm now by my, on my waist. All right. Same thing. I'm going to go down deep for five. This time my arm is going to be up really tight. Now, if you can't touch the ground, it's okay, but these are going to be very slow. My arm is going to follow, follow my body. That's one. Staying in my tuck this whole time. Challenging my flexibility. Two. Three. Focal point, core is tight. Four. Last one here, like last time, we're gonna stay up. Okay, arm is gonna stay here. I'm gonna do a little roundness with my wrist. Up hold, I'm in releve, I'm in tuck, focusing on my quads here for 20, so it's one. Follow my pace. Two, three, four, five, ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, Three, I can feel every muscle fiber in my quads. Four, really focused. Five, six, seven, staying in that tuck. Eight, nine, 20, dropping down three inches. 20 more, follow my pace. One, two, three, Four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, core is really engaged. Two, three, four, five. Six, mm, seven, stay with it. Eight, nine, ten. Two inches deeper, 20 second hold. Stay in tuck. One, two, three. Smile. Four, five, six. You can hear the quivering in my voice because I'm shaking. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come up. Left hand on top of the left ankle. Give yourself a nice quad stretch. Please do not allow your mind to talk you out of the, the discomfort. It's not easy doing this slow. Okay, right hand on top of the right ankle. So we did inner thighs, we did quads. Now I wanna work on some hip flexor. So actually I'm gonna move my stool over to my left side. I'm gonna stand, now no releve, just left foot flat. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your right leg out, you're gonna be in point but now my quad is facing up towards my ceiling, right hand down the waist. What I'm gonna do though is open up my right hip just by turning my right quad over to my right. Now I have a slight bend in my knee, chest is up, shoulders are back, core is tight. Nice bend also in my left leg. Now right here I can already feel it in my hip flexor just from holding my leg up. 20, very slow, so it's one, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Now flex your foot. We're gonna do our full range now. So before we start with the full range at the beginning, so now you're gonna go flex foot, heel down, open, still hip is open, two second hold, one, two for five. Tap your heel to the mat, two, two, three, two, Ooh. four, two, Five, two, go back to point, drop down two inches, up hold for 21. Oh my goodness. Actually have your bent, your right knee a little more bent. Two, really pulls it up into the hip flexor. Three, four, five, six, focus on breath. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. We can do hard workouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Slowly bring the leg down, wow. Little lunge, side lunge out to the right, and then come back to the left. Okay, other side, not easy stuff at all. Okay, right foot on the mat. Remember, don't lock the supporting leg knee, okay? So left hand on the waist, once in quad is up, Tightness, open your hip, slight bend in your left knee for 20. Follow my pace. One, two, three, four. Once again, I'm not just lifting my left leg. I am putting total resistance into it the entire time I'm lifting it. And even when I'm bringing it down. 10, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Flex the foot. Five, your right heel down. Five holds for two second hold. One, two. Keep that leg tight. Don't arch your back on the lift. Two, two. Three, two. Four, two, oh. five, two. Remember, leg goes, foot goes back into point, drop down three inches. Put, a, put more of a bend in your left knee for 20 more lifts. One, two, supporting leg glute. Wow, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Slowly bring the leg down once again. So the supporting leg glute and upper hamstring, I really felt it there. Actually, what I'd love for us to do is go wide with your feet, round your spine, slight bend in your knees, and just let your body hang for a second. And shift to the left and shift to the right. Wow, okay, so now we're gonna really work on um, glutes and hamstrings. So like I said, if you don't wanna use something to hold on to, it's fine. Um, I'm going to. Okay, so now, right foot down on the mat. Do your best to keep your arms long, okay? Long and graceful. Think of like, if any of you guys did ballet when you were little, think of just being graceful right now. Right foot down on the mat. Now we're gonna actually open up our left hip so I'm gonna open up my left hip. Arms, I'm trying not to spill my body over to the right. My left knee is bent, my left foot is in point. Looking down, core is engaged. Even lifting this leg, I can really feel it in my left obliques. Okay, I'm gonna lift here for 20. In point, ready, set, go. One, two, 
tightness in the leg that's doing the work, three, which is left, four, five, really keeping control with the leg, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now, come down, let your big toe, big right toe touch the mat, two second hold, one, one. Focus on breath, very slow, on the down and the up, two, two. Three, two, four, two, last one. I bet you guys know what we're going to do here. Five, two, drop down three inches. Same thing, 20 lifts, tight left leg. One, two, keeping the left hip open. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Bring the leg down. This is a great stretch, by the way. I like to get on releve on this. Just come down, give my spine a nice, have a nice rounded spine, chin to chest. It's a great, great stretch. Okay. Now switch sides, left foot down on the mat. Core is always engaged in all of this. You don't let your midsection just hang out. Okay. Left foot's on the mat. Nice, pretty long arms. Right leg is going to be up now, opening the right hip in point. Please follow my pace. Very important. All right, here we go. Ready? Lift one two, three, tightness in that right leg, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Right big toe is gonna to come all the way down to the mat. So it's two second hold right here. One, one, two, two, three, two, Focus, focus, four, two. Neck should be very relaxed. Five, two, drop down three inches. Okay, 20 more, please follow my pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slowly bring the leg down. Do what stretch works for you. This is my favorite because you do feel it in the lower back. It's muscular, but you feel it. So that's why I keep repeating, keep your core engaged. It's very, very important. Okay, so I'm actually gonna work on the lower part of my stool now. I'm actually gonna put my forearms down on my stool. So if you have to find something, stop the video that's lower, like a um, back of a chair or something, um, please do so. So now my hip is not going to be open. It's going to, I'm going to keep it square to the mat. Right foot's going to be on the mat. 
my right, my left quad is going to be facing the mat. Slight bend in my right leg. So get yourself comfy. Neutral neck, uphold, 420 and point one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now bend the left knee. Your left hip is still square. This is where the glutes are going to be. Your foot's on flex. Uphold for 21. Two. Three. Oh my. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and slowly bring the leg down. Wow. Supporting leg hamstring. You got it there too. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'm going to turn around. Left foot down on the mat. We're going to do the same thing. You know, it's interesting. When I watch my videos after... Um, you know, we film and stuff. It's like, gosh, my left hip or right hip doesn't look like it's closed. And you know what? I thought, you know, it's like, I'm very in tune with my body. But what's interesting is when I watch it on film, it's not as closed as I think I, it is when I'm doing it. So I'm really working on having that con conscious awareness to really force it to be closed. It's that muscle, it's, it's just that mind and, and, and what's going on in my body. I just have to really stay focused with it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are feeling the same way, but you're not alone if you are. Left foot on the mat. Okay. So right hip, so right here, see this is where I'm saying, so my left, my right hip bone, it is angled out, so now I have to really focus to keep it closed. Okay, lift up for 20. Remember, supporting leg has a nice uh, slight bend in the knee. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now remember. Bend the right knee. Keep that hip square for 20 lifts with a flexed foot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Follow my pace. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and 20. Bring the leg down. Oh, give yourself a nice stretch. Okay, so now I want to work on some flexibility. I really like this. Whoopsie. Malfunction. My microphone fell off of my shirt. Okay, so this move, it's going to be a little tricky for me because this stool, look it, it's very wobbly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle it so you guys can see. So what I'm going to do, my right foot, you can have a, your right foot flat or you can have it in releve. It's your, I'm going to let you guys decide. I'm going to actually be in releve, which once again is point. I'm going to stay right here. Arms are going to stay long, flat back, no rounded spine. So I'm going to take my left leg and I'm gonna wrap it all the way around. And I'm gonna do little pulses here, trying not to spill over to the right. Quad is facing up to my up to the ceiling for 21. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now I'm going to bring that leg down. I'm going to put my right foot flat on the mat now. Now I'm going to take my left knee and I'm going to isolate my left knee towards the back of my stool. So I'm going to show you one, a couple first. Foot is flexed, so it's not spilling over to the right, so it's like this. Little isometric. So I'm really, it's wrapping all the way around on the outside of my left hip. We're going to do 30 of these very, very slow. Okay, follow my count, follow my pace. All right, right there, just tighten, tighten the entire left leg. Okay, ready? Go. One two, three. So what I'm doing is the inside of my right left knee is hitting my stool, but I'm not dropping that leg. This is 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, 20. Stay with me. 10 more. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. The right glute almost collapsed. <sighs> Ooh, that's where the breathing is very, very important. Okay. <laughs> Other side. Oh my goodness. Hope I can walk later. All right. So now, releve, left foot releve. You don't have to be in releve. Right leg now is gonna be going out, quad is face, I'm basically bringing it up. Quad is up, up for 21. Two, core is tight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 more, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now, left foot flat. If you want, thirty of these. All right, keep those arms long if you're able to. Right foot has a flex in it now. All right, tapping. Try to get the inside of the left knee now to hit the back of your wherever you're working, whatever you're working on. All right, ready? Focus on breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, last 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. Ooh, okay, stretch back. All right, we've got, guess what? A little over a minute. We're gonna actually do some calf raises in releve. You're going to be in first position, but releve. And all you're going to be doing, I don't want your heels to hit your mat, but pretty darn close. And then you're just going to be here. And we're actually going to finish with pretty fast up and down movements. Focus on calves. Pausing on the up, really tightening my calves. Feels great. So if you notice, in bar, normally you don't want your heels, I mean, obviously, my knees are not moving. The heels are the only thing that's dropping and my feet. Staying in tuck, really feel this in my glutes, inner thighs. And if you see, I'm really putting resistance into my arms too. I'm just holding onto the back of my stool with my fingertips. <sighs> Hang in there. 10 seconds. 
Five seconds. Slowly come down. Ooh, shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. So what? Look at my microphone fell. Surprised the stool didn't fall over on that one move where I felt like my entire body was ready to collapse. But anyway, we can do hard workouts. Remember, the light starts within. It's about the internal work. Because guess what? If you can do your internal stuff, you will definitely make a difference in our world, which our world needs loving. Um, remember to please, if you have not subscribed yet, I would love if you subscribe and click on the bell so then you get notified when I do post. And have a wonderful self-care day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.